Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our Monday Morning Motivations. I'm George Davis, and it is an absolute pleasure to connect with you every Monday just to sow some things into your heart, into your life, and hopefully stir you up on the inside to get you to believe that God's got amazing things in store for your life, your ministry, your business, or whatever your area of influence might be. We've been talking all month of October and November about eight different relationships that every one of us as leaders need to have. We talked about Nathan and Jonathan and Timothy and Peter and Paul, Barnabas. Last week we talked about Zacchaeus. And this week we want to talk about the combo of Joshua and Caleb, two people that you got to have in your life. What do we know about Joshua and Caleb? Well, if you remember the story in Numbers chapter 13, when God is trying to get the children of Israel to see just how great this new promised land is going to be that he's sending them into. He sends 12 spies in to go spy it out. They see how great the land is, come back with big gigantic fruit carrying over their shoulders. Ten of them come back and say, it's a great land, but it's some giants in the land. Don't even consider it. It's too much. Joshua and Caleb were the two that came back and said, yeah, there's some giants there, but let's go up right now to take it because we're well able to overcome whatever might be in the land. You need some Jonathan, some Joshua's rather, and some Caleb's in your life. You need those folks in there that are just going to help you to see what God sees. Because God's always got more in store for our lives than what we're walking in right now. And I don't care how much of an encourager you are, no matter how optimistic you are, there are those seasons in your life where if you don't watch it, you can see more giants than you see fruit. And you need to have a Joshua in your life. You need to have a Caleb in your life that come along and say, yeah, there's some giants there, but don't worry about the giants. We have this can-do mentality. You know, I can do all things through Christ. You want that in your life. If you're a leader, leaders are constantly helping other people to see more, helping other people to get greater vision. But we also need people in our lives that are constantly trying to push us to see even more and more and more of what God has in store. The Joshua and the Caleb in your lives are the ones that always take your obstacles and they keep you from seeing them as obstacles and they see them as opportunities. They're those glass half full. In fact, they're not even half full. They're glass three quarters full. It might only be half full, but they're telling you that I can see another quarter coming already. So let's just call it three quarters full. You need that in your life. You need people to just grab you on the inside and shake you real good, stir you up and remind you God's got something great plan for your life. We like to call it having your four crazy friends. You remember that guy over in the New Testament when he's paralyzed, his friends can't get him into Jesus' meeting, so they climb up on top of the roof, break the roof up, let him down into the middle of Jesus, and he walked away healed that day. He couldn't do anything for himself, but sometimes when you're at your lowest point, it's good to have four crazy friends around you who have the strength to carry you where you can't go yourself. And that's important, man, for us as leaders. Don't get out there thinking you can do this by yourself, trying to handle it all. That's the reason why you have had so many stories of pastors committing suicide and just dropping out of ministry. Not because it's too tough, but because it's too tough when you try to do it all by yourself. You need four crazy friends at least, or at least a Joshua and a Caleb in your life. I can tell you, I've got friends in my life that when I've had some of the toughest moments, they've been the ones that have been there to help pick me up, help encourage me, and help remind me that God still has something great planned for your life. So find your Joshua, find your Caleb, and let God get your hearts fused together. We'll see you next week.